In this video, you will learn how to create books like this in GIMP. GIMP version 2.8.20 is being used while creating this video. Let's start. Go to the file menu and click on new. Set both width and height values to 1000 pixels, and click OK. Now select a color something different from black and white and click OK. Click on this bucket fill tool and click on this image to fill. Now click on this new layer icon, set width to 400 pixels, set height to 600 pixels, and click OK. Go over there and change the color to completely black and click OK. Click on this bucket fill tool, and click on this new layer to fill. Now select this alignment tool, come back here and click on this new black layer, and in the tools option, click these icons to center the layer. Now go over there and change the color to red. Now select the brush tool. And choose the hardness 100 brush from here. Now set the size of the brush value to 250. And paint the top left corner of the layer like this. Now go to the filter menu, click on artistic, and click on cubism. Set the tile size value to 50, and set tile saturation value to 5, check this use background color, and click OK. Now select this text tool, and in the tools option set text size to 100. Change the text color to yellow, and click OK. Now click on the top left of the cover and edit the book name. Select the text, and click this thick, A icon to make it bold. Now click this alignment tool, and come here to the image and click on text. And from the tools option, click this icon to center the text. Now click on this move tool, and drag this text little bit up. Press control key while moving to move straight upward. Once you are done, go back to the tool section and click on text tool again. In the tool option set the text size to 30. Now come here to the bottom of the cover and click to edit the writer's name. After editing the name, click on this move tool and move this name to the suitable position. Now go to the layers section, right click on the top layer, and click on merge down. Again, right click on the top layer, and click on merge down. Now go to the filters menu, click on artistic and click on clothify, don't make any changes here just click OK. Now go to the view menu and click on show grids. Again activate snap to grids. And finally activate snap to canvas edges. Now go to the image menu and click on configure grid. Set both width and height values to 50, and click OK. Now select the perspective tool, come back here, and click on image. Now grab and pull this top right corner 3 grid lines to the down, and 3 grid lines to the right. Again, grab this top left corner and move 3 grid lines to the down and 2 grid lines to the right. And click on transform. Now zoom the image little bit. Now go to this new layer icon and create a transparent layer. Now go to the tool section and select this path tool. Come back to the right side of the image and click 4 times to draw a square. Press and hold the control key and click on the first point to connect the path. Now move these two nodes to the top right and bottom right of the book. And move other nodes to the one grid line down from the first two nodes. Now hit, enter to select the area. Now in the tools section, select bucket fill tool. Now go to the foreground color, change the HTML notation to E1 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 and click OK. Now come back to the select area and click to fill with the color. Double click the on the name of the first layer, and rename it as side. Now create a new layer, set down as layer name, let the fill type be transparency and click OK. 
Now go to the tool section and select this path tool. Come back to the bottom side of the image and click 4 times to draw a rectangle. Press and hold the control key and click on the first point to connect the path. Now move these two nodes to the bottom right and bottom left of the book, and move other nodes to the one grid line down from the first two nodes. Now hit, enter to select the area. Go to the bucket fill tool, and click on the selected area to fill it. Now go to the foreground color and change it. Type, 939393, in HTML notation and click OK. Now select the airbrush tool. Now come down here and change the brush type to pencil scratch. Now click and move the brush from left to right to the bottom of the book. Now go to the tool section and select this blend tool. Click here for the gradient type options and click on FG to transparent. Now come here to the image and draw a line left to right in the selected area. Now go to the layers, right click on the side layer and click on alpha to selection. Zoom the image if the selected area is not easy to work on. Now draw another line from the top to bottom of the selected area. Now go to the select menu and click none. Now go to the layer section, click on the top layer, and create a new layer clicking this icon, let it be transparency and click OK. Now go to the foreground color and change it to the red. Now in the tools section, select the path tool. Come here to the left of the book and click four times to create a square. Click the first node while pressing control key to connect them. Now move this node to the top left of the book. Move another node all the way down to the one grid line right from the left corner. Now move this node to the bottom left corner of the book. And move this last node to the one grid line up from the bottom left corner. Now zoom the image focusing this bottom left corner. Now in this corner, click and drag mouse pointer while pressing control key on the keyboard. Create two hands from this corner by clicking and dragging while pressing control key. And move and adjust those two hands carefully like shown in the video. By doing this, we are trying to show up little rounded part of the right side of the book. Once you are done adjusting the path nodes and hands properly, press enter to create the selected area. Now go to the tool section, select the bucket fill tool, come here to the selected area, and click to fill with red color. Now go to the select menu, and click on none. Now go to the top layer, click it to select, come down here to the down arrow icon, and keep on clicking on it until the layer reaches just above the background. Now click on the last layer to select it. Go to the foreground color, change the color to sky blue, and click OK. Make sure that the background color is still white. Now go to the tool section and select the blend tool. Now come down gear and change the gradient type to FG to BG RBG. Now come here to the image and and draw a line from bottom to the top. Now go to the tool section and select this crop tool, come here to the image and draw a box, Set your crop area pulling in or out by grabbing side or corner of the crop area. Once you are done selecting the part of the image to be cropped, hit enter. Now go to the view menu, and uncheck the show grids. Now go to the top layer and right click on it, and select merge down, repeat the same process until you have only two layers left. Make sure that the top layer is selected, Come down here and click on this duplicate layer icon. Now go there to the tool section and select rotate tool. Come back here to the image and click on it. In the rotate dialog box, change the angle value to 10 degree and click on rotate. And this was a short tutorial about how to create a book in GIMP. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and leave a comment.